Good morning. There are a lot of things I'm pretty vehement about, and identification is one of them. So if you've been around for a while, you know that there are certain things that I will not allow myself to be identified with. Christian, for one, I want nothing to do with that title or label. Nothing. And much for the same reason that I do not want grouped up with the YouTuber title. And there's a good reason for this. That being said, the reason why I don't want put in those kinds of boxes is because, for instance, the Christian label. That automatically lines you up and, and puts you in a group of individuals that, in my opinion, have nothing to do with following the Word of God or respecting our Messiah. Same with the YouTuber mindset. The YouTuber mindset is largely a group of people that they only show you what you want to see. They only show you a quote-unquote good side of themselves. You have to actually read between the lines in order to have an accurate understanding of who those people are. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that, that follow, that almost kiss the feet of some of these YouTubers. And all you have to do is pay attention. And you'll figure it out pretty quick. They aren't who they act like they are. They don't do what they claim they do. And it's much a, a, it's, it's a false front. You don't get that here with me. Which is why... I am not that appealing to the large majority. I have made the comment many times before, and it stands true, and I will stand behind this comment 110%. We all look at Hollywood, and I call it Holly Weird, and we can look at just how screwed up a lot of the individuals are that are a part of Hollywood. It's no different on YouTube. The truth of the matter is, people are drawn to confidence. And there is nobody that exudes more confidence than a narcissist. And so that's why it's not uncommon for quote-unquote YouTubers to be narcissists. I've called this out many times, and I know that there's a whole host of people out there that think I'm wrong on this. I'm not. Human behavioral psychology is one of my most passionate subjects. And while I know how to repair just about anything that's put in front of me, I, I've wore so many damn hats over my lifetime, I'm telling you, psychology ranks the top. These folks are just out of their minds. They truly are. And if if people would stop and step back from the worship of these individuals long enough, they would start seeing these things. You have people in the preparedness community that will tell you about what you need to do, but they damn well won't follow the same advice. You got people in the YouTube community and the prepping community that tell you about how much they care about you and your well-being and how you're going to fare after some big event. But if you listen closely, most of them have this total me, 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 me mindset. Folks, I don't understand why people want to pump up and promote those types of individuals, but they've done it for years. They've done it for years, decades. There's an example in the news today, and I guess this has been ongoing for a little while. Uh, but apparently the lady was just sentenced. And it's a perfect example of why I don't want anything to do with the quote-unquote YouTuber label. Nothing. Because this is exactly representative of many of the large YouTube channels out there. And this is just somebody that got caught. So we'll go on over to the web view here. 
U.S. parenting influencer sentenced for child abuse. Of course, I'll put the link down in the description and the first comment of the video. It says, an American mother of six whose parenting advice online drew more than 2 million subscribers on YouTube was sentenced on Tuesday to at least four years in prison on charges of aggravated child abuse. Frankie, 42, who operated the now-deleted 8 Passengers video network online, was arrested last August in the U.S. state of Utah when her malnourished 12-year-old son escaped from the home of another woman, Jody Hildebrandt, 54, to ask a neighbor for food and water. The child had been bound with duct tape and had visible open wounds as a result of being tied with rope, police records said. Hildebrandt, for whom Frankie collaborated on a separate business venture, was handed an identical prison sentence of four terms of between 1 and 15 years each. Both had pleaded guilty in December to charges of second-degree aggravated child abuse. Apologizing to their children following her sentencing, Frankie said that she had believed dark was light and right was wrong. I would do anything in the world for you. I took from you all that was soft and safe and good. Sounds like a narcissist to me. In her own statement, Hildebrandt said that she hoped the children could heal physically and emotionally. During the trial last year, Prosecutor Eric Clark told the court that two of Frankie's children had been forced to live in a concentration camp-like setting and were regularly denied food, water, beds to sleep in, and virtually all forms of entertainment. Frankie set up her 8 Passengers YouTube channel in 2015, and by last summer it had amassed 2.3 million subscribers. Hey, Pinball, Angry Prepper, all of you out there that want to joke about how small my channel is, that's perfectly fine. Because if I have to be somebody like this, if I have to be somebody like you in order to have a big following, nah, delete my damn channel before I'm going to be anything near you fakes and frauds. I will just disappear off the whole platform. I'm not here to play your kind of games and your kind of nonsense and give your kind of bullshit advice to people. Plain and simple. I came here to help people, others, not myself. We are not even anywhere near the same objective. Praise the Father. It says many of whom were drawn in by videos of Frankie's suburban family life. However, some viewers became concerned in 2020 when one of her sons said in a video that he had been sleeping on a beanbag for seven months. Other videos detailed Frankie withholding food from her children and canceling Christmas as a punishment. The Eight Passengers YouTube channel was deleted in 2022, thus the same year that Frankie separated from her husband, Kevin. As part of a plea agreement, Hildebrandt, who collaborated with Frankie in a series of life coaching videos, admitting that she was aware of the child abuse and that she had forced one of Frankie's children to jump into a cactus multiple times. She added that Frankie had told her children that they were evil and possessed and had to repent. You see, this is what I mean by biblical abuse. Barren dependence right there. I'm, I'm not saying he's telling people, you know, kids to jump into a cactus. But he is most certainly using the Bible to abuse. That's a fact. That is a fact. Look, read the Bible, read about the Pharisees and how they acted, and take another look at Bear. In a statement issued by his lawyer in advance of the trial last year, Kevin Frankie called for the maximum sentence to be imposed on his former partner over the horrific and inhumane abuse of his children. This is, uh... This is, this is crazy, but it's a perfect example of what I keep trying to tell people. It's, 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 it's an amazing 
odd thing, is it not? I come here, I speak from the heart, I try to tell you as accurately as I can about things, and I'm chastised, I'm crucified for it. But lo and behold, time and time and time again, I'm correct. And not one time do those people that admonish me, that criticize me, not one, and I don't need them to, and I don't want, want them to. But not one time have they ever said, hey, dude, you were right about that. No, nope. they just continue to kick and kick and kick and kick. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a narcissist. We have to get out of this mindset. If we want to do better, we have to identify what it is, for instance, that attracts us to people in Hollywood, that attracts us to certain types of personalities on YouTube or anywhere else. Until we can address that as individuals, I've addressed it a long time ago. Clearly, I don't want to be labeled a YouTuber. I don't want to be labeled a Christian. Until we can analyze that, until we can unwrap that, and take effective action against it, our society will continue to go downhill. Blind leading the blind. Shalom.